Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a tiny little project that we're gonna be solving. Um, I was upgrading my computer over here uh, which is a Lenovo tiny desktop PC. It's the M93 and I have another one which was really lucky because when I was upgrading my PC over there I broke the fan. I was cleaning the fan and then for it not to spin I, I, I put my fingers in it and then I broke off the fans instead. Um, it had become really hot and crispy so they broke off really easy. We can see them, I have them on the table here so um, let's see. Oh I put everything in a bag here. Uh, let's get that out there. There is the PC. Here is the, <laughs> that's the processor from the other PC, the one that I upgraded from. And here is a power supply for it. it um, it's a 65 watt power supply, so this machine does not really use a lot of power. So this is all of the fans that broke off. So that was a mess. So um, we're gonna replace that fan. I did. Okay, that explains it. So I fixed it, kid. Thank you very much to the awesome subscriber that sent me that. So we have a Phillips screw here. That out of the way. We might have more lock. We have way more lock. Good. So the, the lead off machine. And I see that I just loosely put that in here. And there is not many fans left here. That would be grunk a dunk a dunk if, uh, if we choose to try and run that. Uh, so, might just check if we got the right one. This took forever and ever. I had uh, ordered this and then the corona crisis hit us and then they never shipped it or it never arrived and yeah it looks exactly the same uh, just a little bit cleaner uh, this has clearly also been used so I don't know if I should try and clean this I'm a bit afraid of those breaking off as well mm. Uh, but what I did, I put my fingers in here while I was cleaning it with an air compressor and that didn't help. So that was, uh, that was when all of these uh, fins took off. So yeah, I will um, investigate if I can clean this. Okay, so I took a big chance and I, I went down and I, I tried to clean it and um, it survived nothing is missing i was very careful i had had my finger on this so that it would not turn around i'm pretty sure that was what happened last time and uh, i could um, on a f on a distance i i uh, blowed air at these and i didn't get all of the dirt off so i went up uh, and i put some water on it um had it in the sink and let the water very slowly drive it around so to get everything wet and then I um, went down to the basement again and I dried it off with the compressor and it's pretty good wouldn't hurt to do it again but well let's not jinx it let's have a little look at this machine they are awesome I love them um, I have had uh, mine running over there well I don't know actually because I've been running it for so long but um, there's a video when I started using this when I the first time showed this um, Lenovo Think Center M93. Uh, there is an M93P, and I do believe that the P is when you get the wireless. So uh, when there's a P, you'll have an, an antenna sticking out, or at least um, a connection for an antenna. Um, I think that's about it. So um, it's a tiny computer. Let's uh, let's check the RAM. It's beneath this solid state drive which is only 128 gigabytes but well this this machine is not that new anymore so back when this was new 128 gigabytes was plenty it's it's still good enough 
for, for an operating system. Uh, two screws and this comes out. Uh, I forget which way. Looks like it goes that way and then comes up and then we can see what's underneath it. We have a slot for that wireless car and I'm guessing that's a PCI connection. Might be fun to do something interesting with that someday. They have also made a slot for an MSATA over here but it's not occupied. They didn't put in a connection so that would be to replace the the solid state drive and we have a single RAM block I am guessing 4 gigabytes that was the normal and we have 4 gigabytes awesome micron RAM I think uh, but Lenovo branded here so uh, cool nice underneath here is the CPU I don't actually want to mess with that uh, for what this machine is going to be used for. I think that's plenty good. I believe this is a 35 watt CPU TDP. Uh, we upgraded in, in a video, we upgraded to this one. This is the i3-4170, which was sent to me from, from all the way from Australia by an awesome subscriber, thank you. We ran that and that had a TDP of 54 watts and that ran in my machine for I think a couple of years and then I upgraded to the Xeon that I'm running right now and that's an E5-1275 version 3L or is that 1275L version 3? Uh, that one yeah and that has a lower TDP I forget 40 something it's a very nice machine so let's put this fan back in uh, I believe it goes something like that No, 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 it goes something like that. <laughs> yeah, just embarrass yourself. Stupid. So that will do nicely. Okay, and uh, we'll just tighten. There's a screw uh, from China delivered. It comes with all the screws, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, these are screws meant so they don't fall out. Perfect. So. Connection goes in there, just screw it. Maybe we should check if this will still go in. Tiny connection. Yeah, everything is tiny in these. I think they are pretty much based on laptop technology. Okay, that goes in just fine. So we can, we can screw this. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't an embarrassing video when I broke that fan and I was so lucky that I had another one so I took the fan out of this machine so that I could continue the video and so that I could use my home computer and that would have been really bad if this had been my only computer and I just messed up the fan because um, you don't go down to the local computer shop and just find one of those on the shelf they are a bit harder to get to I was actually looking at if it would be possible to just replace the fan um, if this part the inside if that would be available um, that would just be neat but I didn't really find that so I had to cough up additional dollars to get the whole thing I see that I bought this uh, on eBay in the UK and I paid uh, £3.95 for it that's not bad, £3.95, that's really cheap. And um, then it cost me £7.5 to have it shipped. Thank you, thank you very much. If I had been in the UK, uh, the shipping would be way less, but uh, well, I'm not in the UK, so I had to cough up the cash to get my fan. Otherwise, I would have to get it from China, and that would take ages again. Remember to put in that tiny little plug, otherwise you will be out of luck. Let's see if we, this iFixit kit has all kind of good stuff. So for example, this thing, I think that will do very nicely in helping me to get that plug in place. Let's see. 
Uh, I should have put that in before I put the hard drive in. I was stupid. Uh, I guess I fix it kid it doesn't come with glasses. We got it. I guess it's ready for us to just put the rest back together. I, I took some screws out of the hard drive, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So let's have those back. There, and the cover back on. And we have fixed our little tiny Lenovo PC that <clears throat> I admittedly broke myself. So I am actually using it, um, it's right over here, another one just like it, and that's the one that has been upgraded, and it is connected to these two 4K monitors, that works just great. Uh, I can see that if I'm, if I'm really stressing it, the graphics card in the system is not too great, but for the work that I do, it's perfectly fine. And here is the Xeon processor that I have in here. It's an E3, sorry, I said E5, 1235L V3, 2.7 gigahertz. Okay, so I was really lazy, so I just uh, turned off my normal PC and I, I pulled the cables up and put it in the back of the new one. And it is booting just fine. Come on, show something, otherwise I'll be a liar. Now it's just being unpolite. There we are. That was a mouth thinky. Yeah. Um, I did not install this Windows 7 thing, so um, I don't have the password for it. So, uh, eh. okay, it's um, <laughs> it's doing updates. Thank you very much. That's gonna be so helpful. As we are probably gonna be reinstalling it. Yeah, I don't have the password for it, but it's running and it's really quiet. I did hear it spin up just um, when I started it, so I know that it is spinning in there. But right now I wouldn't know. Might be getting old and death, but well, this is pretty good. So that was a simple little video. I'm replacing the fan in this awesome Lenovo ThinkSender M93. Um, they are some years old, 2014 this one is from, So, um, but a good and smart little unit. My evil plan is that my mechanic, I maintain his IT, that he's gonna be running these. Right now he's running these and they are big buggers and there is no reason for that. He does not use the CD-ROM drive anymore and there is quite a substantial size difference between those two machines so um, yeah that's the evil plan and it's also the evil plan to upgrade him from Windows 7 to Windows 10 uh, there are some difficulties there because he uses LPT printing the old stuff and just when Windows 10 came out it did not support LPT printing they have fixed that or someone told them that they needed to have that. So yeah, that should be working now. Should you be in need of hardware, much like this, you can go to barkinhardware.co.uk and they have desktops and laptops and towers and servers and all that good stuff for reasonable prices. Really good service and fair shipping. Um, if you use the checkout code MYPLAYHOUSE, small letters all the way in, on your way out, you get 5% off. And um, yeah, desktop PCs are not really that expensive. I um, don't think they had this one. I was in there looking, but at the moment when I checked, it was not in stock. They had some other models. It's a big advantage to have all the models the same model so that you don't have to mess with multiple drivers and when you have solved the problem well you can apply it on all the machines so um, yeah I'm a big fan of that so uh, um, it would be cool to just make an image for one of these and then just copy the image over to the next four machines right some would call it lazy I call it smart Check me out over on Patreon where I every week make a Sunday WhatsApp video 
telling my Patreon supporters what I've been up to this weekend, which I'm gonna be filming in a few hours. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.